Welcome Galactic Family. Smile. Even without being filmed. Charging for goals and results within an organizational environment can often create a negative mental pattern for your directors and leaders. Many leaders are not properly prepared for this environment of disputes, charges, and egos. Some leaders working in these environments feel overwhelmed and for lack of adequate preparation they close their faces, in the illusion of giving their subordinates an air of seriousness. People with these patterns of behavior do not have the peace of mind they ought to perform. We can see in many organizations their leaders and leaders in the effort to maintain seriousness, forget the importance of good humor, joy and the exchange of kindness. Unfortunately, even today, we find this posture also within the institution called the family. Many businessmen, executives, leaders, Parents of families and even some religious believe that always maintaining a frowning physiognomy is synonymous with seriousness, discipline and respect. People who keep this type of posture in their daily lives believe that in order to achieve their goals the atmosphere of their environment must be pessimism, pain and suffering. When someone inside this environment stands out through a smile, someone soon comes up questioning. How is this person able to smile at this current crisis in the country? The company is almost going bankrupt and so and so has the stick face of smiling? How to smile when worries, unemployment, family dishonesty and other setbacks are so frequent in life? Shakespeare already said life is short, so love your life, be happy. Always keep a smile on your face. Live life for yourself and before you speak, listen. Before you write, think. Before you spend, you win. Before you pray, forgive. Before you hurt, feel. Before you hate, love. Before you give up, try. Before you die, live. Many people believe that in order to smile they need happiness. They believe that to manifest a cheerful physiognomy first must achieve professional, personal, and family success, but universal law works the other way around. It is not success that will bring us happiness, good humor and smile. It's your good mood, your smile and your happiness that may be your greatest allies in achieving success. We are an energetic body and we are in a constant work of exchanging energies. Start analyzing your environment, the people around you, and see what energy frequency your energy switching process is working on. If you have the sullen, loaded and sad physiognomy you will hate the people who live smiling. If you are a successful person you will not be able to bear listening to the whining of the losers. Change your energy frequency by practicing the smile. There is no one who needs a smile so much as those who are not accustomed to this practice. Those people who have already given up hope. Those who wander aimlessly. Those who do not believe more than happiness are possible. Smile is one of the best tools to change the environment around you. Do not expect joyful events to smile. Make the spontaneous and natural smiley habit of your daily life and the joyful things begin to manifest. The energetic frequency of the smile is joy, happiness, prosperity and success. To enter that same frequency, create the habit of smiling and in time good and beautiful things crossed your path. Always maintain a cheerful and optimistic physiognomy before the apparent difficulties of life. To smile you do not have to wait for that flash, that selfie or that inseparable friend. Smile. Even without being filmed. This is an attribute of successful people. Always smile.